The section experience was awesome first year. I was in section G. I was our section senator. I would say that was really the group that I spent most of my time with and friends that I'll have for, for the rest of my life. So let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about life at Harvard, which I have not had the chance to hear as much about because we haven't yeah. caught up as much. Um, so I'm really curious to hear how things went um, once you finally got to Harvard Business School. So tell us, I guess, about your first impressions. You know, what was it like when you got there? Were people what you expected them to be? What did you first think? Yeah, so I, I came in not really knowing what to expect. I had never visited campus before. Um, my only kind of impressions were from like colleagues and friends who had gone to HBS. Um, so stepping foot on the kind of start week, which is kind of our, our like orientation week for first year students, um, felt like very like much overwhelmed. The campus is is pr- fairly sizable um, compared to other business schools and um, kind of the the art of siphoning us into sections and that initial section experience was um, super exciting, but also like pretty uh, pretty intimidating of being in a room with almost a hundred other kind of star students that you're going to be spending the entire first year with. Um, and then HBS, kind of your your first um, section activity is you have to come up with like a twenty word story about yourself. And so you go around the whole section room and everyone shares their like 20 word story. Um, So you have like a very defined like first impression um, of all uh, of your section mates. So I would say that was a little bit scary. But um, even now, like I still remember certain people's like 20 word stories um, because they were like so meaningful and like shared something about themselves. that like made them who they are, which I thought was super cool. Um, but yeah, the, the section experience was awesome. First year I was in section G. Um, I was our section senator. So I was on section leadership. Um, really loved our section. We had a great group of leaders who really like made the made the experience what it was, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. I would say that was really the group that I spent most of my time with and uh a lot of my very best friends uh, are from from my section, so it was it was super fun, great experience, um, and friends that I'll have for for the rest of my life. And what activities and clubs did you get involved with over the course of your two years there? Yeah, so um, section leadership, uh, our uh, the Senate position is both years, uh, unlike other kind of section leadership positions. So I was a senator both first and second year. Um, and then I was uh, quite involved with our pride club. Um, so that was uh, for me, that was like mostly social, uh, but it was a super fun, fun group. We would go on retreats, uh, ski weekends, um, all sorts of like fun kind of bonding activities uh, with that group that just really made made the experience uh, really meaningful. Um, and then my second year, uh, became more involved with the the business of sports club, um, so was a member there and went to a few conferences um, and was was more involved in, in that space my second year. Um, and then in my second year, this isn't necessarily a club, but I did um, two independent projects, uh, one first semester and one second semester. So was working with um, basically like an ex like a client almost, um, and did kind of short projects. Uh, with with each of them, um, one with a partner and one uh, solo, just just with myself. Okay, were those for course credit that you were doing those projects? Okay, yeah. So instead of a course each semester, I would do a project. Um, the first first semester, I did it with um, a friend who was also from McKinsey um, in the Chicago office and was also in the insurance practice, and she was in my section. And one of our professors was actually, uh, well, he still is, um, is on the the board of directors for a very large insurance company. Um, and so he was able to kind of get us a project with uh, that insurance firm. So we, we did like a little bit of innovation strategy and um, a project 
related to innovation and financial services um, with them. That was really cool. We even um, met the CEO, uh, which was super cool. What's your favorite memory from your time at HBS, whether it's something fun or something in the classroom? Oh, man, that's tough. I would the the first thing that comes to mind is uh, spring break um, first year, like 400 first year students all went to Columbia together. Um, so it was a giant trip. Like all of my friends were there. Um, the the students who were actually from Columbia organized the trip. Um, and so it was it was just like an incredible experience um, going all over the country and just having a ton of fun um, with with almost like half half of our HBS class in the classroom. Uh, one of my favorite classes uh, this second year was um, called the Business of Entertainment, Media, and Sports. Um, and so that whole that whole semester was super cool. We had all sorts of guests come in from Alan Horn um, from Disney and. Um, Clarence Seydorf, who's like a famous European soccer player, uh, Chris Paul, LL Cool J, um, all sorts of celebrities would would come into class, um, which was which is a really cool experience. Wow, that's a nice perk of the HVS network. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. And and what advice do you have for incoming students who maybe are a bit anxious about the classroom environment at HBS? I would say everyone is coming in nervous, um, even if you don't, like, pick up on it. I think um, there's a lot of people in the classroom that um, are coming in with that very same mindset of being nervous to to speak um, and nervous to speak, especially in front of 90-plus of, of their peers. Um but I'd say, like, the more comments you make, the more it becomes, like, comfortable for you. Um, so it really just, like, takes reps. And, like, the earlier that you can get in in a course or even in, in a class session, like, the the more comfortable you're, you'll feel. I would say the, the stress sometimes comes when either you haven't spoken in a couple classes in a row or you're waiting until the end of a class to raise your hand. I would say those are the more daunting times to speak, but um, especially early, um, early in your HBS experience, like the, the the quicker you can get in and kind of get those reps in, the more comfortable comfortable you'll become um, as the semester and year uh, progresses. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, tell us what you're doing now after graduating. Yeah, so a um, little bit of a, a winding road, but ending up back where I uh, anticipated in my applications of, of going back to McKinsey, um, I'll be rejoining the Minneapolis office. Oh, great! So yeah, excited about that. Uh, definitely, a, you know, a lot, lots of shiny things uh, to to look at while at HBS that I um, have explored, but um, ending up back back at McKinsey. Would you say HBS changed the career priorities for you, or the, do you think it will change the course of your career? I, I think so. Um, I think at the very minimum, it has given me the confidence that I can go and do like kind of bigger things than I even anticipated coming in, um, which is awesome. Um, and then I think just the the number of different paths that. I can take but either now or um, after a few years at McKinsey, um, just having my eyes open to like the different industries and different um, roles within certain industries. I, I wasn't familiar with like what a search fund was um, when I came to HBS. And now a bunch of my friends are, are doing that path. So things like that, that I had just never really thought of as options for myself and, you know, seeing friends, um, kind of go along these different paths has has definitely like opened my eyes to to certain things. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, that's great. I'm sure McKinsey is happy to have you back. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> and they probably have high expectations for your your um, 
project leadership, but also I'm sure you'll get involved in firm initiatives in the community like you did before. So I'm sure that the HBS experience will help boost your leadership in those areas too. Right. right? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely feel um, more confident going back to the firm um, after, after HBS. Well, thank you so much for your time, Savannah. I know everyone really appreciates hearing your experience getting into HBS and then also hearing what it was like for you at HBS. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Yeah, absolutely. And, and great to, to catch up with you as well. Yeah, likewise.